so to make these resin candle holders all you want to do is have a resin kit and some um, like little things and decoration -y bits to put in your resin candle holders I opted for um, a like a leafy tree branch like a Christmas tree it's like that sort of um, look to it and a leaf you also want to make sure that the pots that you're using as molds are a really good strong plastic as the one that I did in the littler pot with the leaf the plastic was not good enough quality and I could not get the thing out because the plastic had literally like stuck so much to it and the plastic wouldn't come off very well then you just want to open up your kit put on your gloves and basically just follow the instructions on your kit but mine was mix um, I think it was one part one um, amount of A to two amounts of B um, and then you want to give it a thorough thorough mix as well um, obviously this may be different for, depending on what resin kit you're using so just make sure to follow your instructions um, but yeah as you can see here I'm mixing the two components together so that's the one of the first lots and then two lots of the second lot another reason the um like the tr christmas tree sort of look branch opted a lot better was it, they don't die as quickly so you can have clippings of those and they look fine for absolutely ages because obviously a christmas tree would look dead if it didn't um, whereas leaves, they, they are sh the leaf that I used shriveled up a bit and looked more dead in the time that it took the resin to dry. So make sure you bear that in mind or use fake leaves or whatever it is that you're going to put in there as well is another option. So you just want to make sure that you get all of the bits out of the pot that you use to measure and give it a really, really thorough mix. Now, my packaging did recommend that you give it a really thorough mix, then pour it into another container and then give it another mix before you pour it into your final mould. But I didn't have another spare container. Um, I think what happens if you don't mix it thoroughly is um, you end up with like little white patches in your resin after like it's set um, and for the most part this didn't happen the only part I had like a tiny white splodge in was um, in between some of the branches and you can hardly see it but once you've poured all your resin into your pot you want to make sure that your um, like things that you're putting inside are positioned as you would like and then just grab a candle like a tea light candle um, not gonna lie this really worried me to start off with because I thought it was just gonna sink but it actually really nicely just stopped level with the resin and then you just want to wait for them to dry and pop them out and then you're ready to use them and there we are